welcome to today's video. Today is slightly different in that it's a bit of a weird video. For the last couple of weeks I've been really intensively working on a document for my PhD which has kind of meant that all my energy has gone to that. I have other footage kind of stored away but either I've not filmed all of it or I've not edited it all and I didn't realise and this is something I forget all the time is that academic work and writing and doing stuff for the PhD can actually be pretty creative if not entirely creative and I seem to have burnt through both my academic almost like work side and creative side so when I finally got this report done and handed in I sat down ready to do art I mean I haven't drawn anything for at least three weeks which is far too long and ages and I sat down ready to to give it a go and I just couldn't I was either faffing with what idea to do I couldn't pick a species I'd want to draw I wasn't in the right mindset and then I sat down to try and edit some of the other stuff and I just wasn't doing it right and like the stuff that I filmed before I want to make sure that it's good content going out and I have some good ideas for it but my brain is just not in it so when it came to today's video I was a bit at a loss and I definitely didn't feel like doing just like a blog post because I have done far too much writing in a short amount of time recently so today's video will be really simple in that I mean did you ever play this game as a kid where you would scribble a line down and then draw a picture from the scribble I'm pretty sure it's what my mum gave to me to amuse me as a kid I'm pretty sure I've done it throughout my adult life for fun anyway when I'm bored or doodling and I thought that would be a great way to get me back into the flow of drawing. I have no idea what to draw and I will let the scribbles dictate that. So I have giant paper, I have my pencil case of assortment of pens and pencils and uh, I'm just going to scribble and see what marine species we come up with. Mm. I'm going to do the scribble in a different colour that I know I'm not going to use. Um, and then you'll remember where the scribble is. So, not a lot of marine stuff is, is red. Should we go with the red scribble? I'm not going to look. I'm just going to just gonna go with it and then uh, see what we get. Okay, ready. Right. Okay. I kind of think it looks like something not marine. Looks like a weird, tiny monkey. But we can make this into something marine. Okay, maybe this could be a hammerhead shark. This kind of looks, you know, hammerhead sharky. I'm not sure what hammerhead shark looks like. Let me Google hammerhead sharks. Hammerhead sharks. I mean, so far, it's looking atrocious. Scribble one. I'll pick you up and I will, I will show you what scribble one is. It's 
So I know I've kind of ignored some of the lines, but I think that's a pretty decent shout. Let's go again, shall we? Um, if I just hold it loosely. Oh, because that makes it easy for myself. Actually, I see a way in it straight away. I think we're going with a, uh, a marine uh, shark theme thing. Can I see a whale? Yeah. Or, let's have a shark. See, just like this dude. <laughs> he could be on reference. I might feel miserably, but if we can try and make this guy cute, I mean, I just, sharks get such a bad rap for no reason. The shark is not looking cute, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, uh, if we're going for cute, I might be, uh, might be barking up the wrong tree. What would be the marine equivalent to barking up the wrong tree, do you think? Would you be a plant like kelp? Are you wrapping yourself up the wrong kelp? It's probably something that otters would say. Is that something otters would say? Wrapping yourself up the wrong kelp. I mean, that's what they do. with this scribble a lot of it is actually already kind of shaped for me i'm trying to make it cute she says emphasis on the word trying Red pen, the final time, ladies and gentlemen, for today's scribble challenge. Okay. <laughs> so, either if you're looking at it from this camera, I think this looks like a dinosaur feet cuddling up to a pot of honey or something from this angle it looks like a ball puking um, but we are not here ladies and gentlemen to do dinosaurs eating honey or cattle puking no we are here to do marine things this is called marine mumbles so we're going to think of something marine while I buy time by talking utter nonsense. And it, hmm. A mermaid 
with a really long tail on some rocks is what I'm going to go with. One, mermaids are real. Two, mermaids live in the sea. Three, I can't draw people at all, so this will be fun. And four, why not continue to embarrass myself on the internet by showing how bad I am at drawing? <laughs> We're going with a mermaid with an, a terrible, terrible extension problem. She has been cursed with with an elastic body by an evil witch and she went to the evil witch and she asked to be taller and she was like sure but you also you also have to be really long that's that's what this mermaid is he's bendy Oh, I mean that is that is uh, some truly, truly awful. If anyone asks me to draw a portrait, uh, the answer is no, just no. Uh, this is going to be the mermaid. There you go. That's not creepy at all. It is not creepy in the slightest, is it? <laughs> Please know that I know how bad this is. <laughs> Just got bed head, poor love. Look, this bit of hair come all the way down here. Just put hair all the way down here so I don't have to draw her arms. I mean, this is exactly what this challenge is about. I couldn't draw anything, I had no idea what to draw. And I, I physically, honestly, I couldn't even look at drawing anything. I just couldn't even comprehend doing anything remotely creative. And this has got me drawing again. Here we have the final mermaid. I mean, I think it's just, just spectacular, isn't it? I mean, this bit in particular, that is just, oh, it's so good. I mean, it's, it, it's truly, I think truly a masterpiece. Truly. <laughs> Okay, so here we have our final three squiggly challenge. We have the hammerhead shark. We have the baby great white. He's so cute. He's so cute. And we have our triumphant and amazing, soon to be hung in galleries around the globe, mermaid. Now, if you come here to watch good art, if you come here to learn about marine stuff, this video probably wasn't one of your lists. It wasn't up there with one of the greats. But to be honest, this video was probably more for me than it was for any of you. But I'm hoping that you can enjoy watching the journey of me make some very non-serious, serious art. Because at the end of the day, we shouldn't take ourselves too seriously. We go rock pulling soon and get some more footage. Start to put some more informative videos together so that we don't end up with some more mermaids like we have today. <laughs> Rather than end on an outro, we are gonna end in hopes of getting a thumbnail for YouTube because 
I uh, don't have enough views yet to be able to make my own thumbnails and I think that the way that YouTube thumbnails work is that if you have like a still or like a or something for a long period of time it kind of picks up on it so I'm gonna end on what I hope is going to be in the, th the three thumbnails that I'm allowed to pick from from the start of my video and if it's not then this has been a complete waste of time and you've just wasted your life watching this but this requires my absolute potentially favourite item that I own um, and it involves little baby sharky here so i'm going to randomly stare and put a face at the camera for about a couple of seconds and i hope that that's what gets picked up um we'll also include bruce showing and hope <laughs> that i'm not just making an idea of myself for no reason are you ready i'm gonna count myself down three two one <laughs> this has been marina marvel's <laughs> scribble challenge I have made a fool of myself on the internet yet again and I hope to see you next week for more laughs and a bit more information uh, about marine creatures than had been in today's video. Bye guys, have a fab week.